Don Comstock is with the Colorado School of Public Health, and you're participating in this injury prevention seminar. What's this all about from your perspective, and what are you trying to get out of this? Yeah, I'm so excited to be here today, this great agenda of speakers. I'm actually an injury epidemiologist. I'm not a clinician. And it's so exciting to, for me to see a group of clinicians and a great organization like the Stedman Clinic really focusing on prevention, including primary prevention. Everything that I've heard so far today is about how do we keep athletes healthy and safe and prevent them from being injured so they can not only be more effective as athletes, but also just have better lives. And that's, an ex that's very, very exciting. What are the key takeaways so far from what you've heard? Well, so far, you know, some of the points that we've heard before, but it's great to hear clinicians that work with elite athletes reiterate, don't let a hurt athlete play. Make sure that they recover before they play. Um, and another really important point is thinking about the younger athlete, adolescent athlete, compared to the adult athlete, because so many of our elite level athletes are, are becoming very specialized in their sport during that childhood adolescent period, and understanding that they may, may need a little different approach to keep them safe. The culture of sport is shifting, but for a long time it's been uh, get in there and play. I'm, okay, so you hurt your knee a little bit. Get in there and play. Uh, that's a big deal trying to change cultures. Uh, changing culture is huge, which is another reason why the topic of this seminar and this uh, meeting today is so important. Thinking about prevention first and treatment second. So you're right, shifting culture is difficult, particularly in sports. My work is in high school athletes, not, not the elite level, the general 8 million high school students that play sports in the United States. And changing culture to make sure that health and safety is first and foremost in their minds, their parents' minds, their coaches' minds, and general physicians, physicians that aren't as knowledgeable and aren't as um, high level as the great clinicians here at the Stedman Clinic. It takes work. Don Comstock, thank you very much, and good luck with this. It's very important to every athlete, particularly those that are going on to elite levels, and, well, I should say, those who just play recreationally as well.